Hello everybody! Saltasuit Ren here, and welcome back to more Wildermyth with the Song of Scar Lizard. After a lot of weird stuff happened last episode, apparently Diana was messing around with... She either got sick or some elder god decided to trick her into, like, clearing out some space. It was very weird. I couldn't follow what was going on. There was, like, some bacon elemental... And they decided to try and befriend the disease with the power of friendship, which failed, and we had to fight it anyway. It was weird. I got no idea what happened last episode. It was weird. But yet, just as you were about to like, come over here and start clearing this place out, Griffin apparently has an opportunity. Griffin rouses Diana for a mysterious journey. Diana's getting involved with everybody's stuff. Last time it involved her. Let's see what Griffin's opportunity is. From another time. Diana slept unsoundly. The night that poured through the window was colder than anticipated. But then there was also... Diana. What? Sorry, love. I couldn't leave without saying goodbye. Wait, what? Huh? You can't leave with saying goodbye! Are you going out alone? Where are you going, Griffin? If you want to come, then let's go. Tonight. Now? So they went in the middle- I feel like she would go with him. I don't- He seems like the type who would go with or with- Like, even- Even so, but she's definitely gonna insist on coming along. But what are they doing? Where are they going? I- I am confused. Can I not- Like- Hmm. Got ourselves warrior, mystic, yeah, Jeff and warrior are one- Hunter, let's go. Hey, you're all going here anyway, so... You guys were... I'm gonna have the other two head out to Ivy Gate and just protect it. Just so we've got that taken care of. Griffin's the one who has to catch up. <laughs> Griffin and Diana have arrived, and there's gonna be Drav in here. Those mountains. Journey ends there, I hope. It's been a long trek. The campfire's been mostly quiet. When he has spoken of their destination, Griffin's kept his description sparse. He's mentioned a cave in a pool of water. Gazing the pool is supposed to give you some kind of, I don't know, a revelation. The cloud of his past has settled on his forehead, shadowy, constant. Sorry if you can hear my laptop being noisy. Need to deal with that at some point. Why does the mountainside look less stony than your face? He's just naturally stony-faced. Long falls await reckless leapers. Know that I've considered this journey, this place, for a long time. They climb down rocks, through dust-blown gorges, and discover the hidden mouth of a cave. But what are you hoping to find there? Ah, oh, yes, this is the memory thing. There's gaps in my life, and the pain I've lived with that I can't explain. I want to know why. Or, the darkness covers some of my memories. This feeling that I did something bad long, long ago. I think last time it was the gaps in the life that we looked at. I don't know if it was with the campaign itself or if I did it elsewhere. I think it was... Yeah, it was with... Uh, what was her name? Crap. I am forgetting the names of my original characters. It's been so long. But I feel like that's what we went with before. Gaps in their life. What about darkness covers some... Darkness covers some memories. I'm gonna go with that. I'm curious. Besides which... The Song of Scar Lizard are not necessarily revered as heroes. Between Jevon War and the whole thing with the witch and everything that's been going on. Diana seems to be the one who would be, like, good alignment amongst them, but everyone else has been a little bit shady in some ways. Well, I'll be here. I know who you are, and I know how much good you've done. Thank you. They come upon the pool, not, f not far inside, but there's someone standing before it. Um, old woman? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Griffin! It's been so long! You're all grown! Oh, she's an elf! Hey! 
Why are you talking like we've met each other? I mean, have we? Sweet boy, I owe you my freedom! I'm sad that you don't remember. I, I didn't look the way I do now. See? You saved someone. Like a surge of water from the broken earth, the memory wells up in him. Oh. It's a home he could never recall. Two people. His parents? They were so... Beautiful. So happy, then. Smell of bright new dew on th on fresh thatch. Taste of sweet bread, pumpkin pie. Checking tide pools for bounty, roasting the catch. Can these memories really be... Mine? A child finds a tree in the woods. Carved writing on it that the boy can't read. And an axe left it buried in the bark. The axe handle is too big to grip in one hand. He uses two. As the blade jiggles loose, black smoke seeps from, from the wounded truck from the wounded trunk. I took it out of the out of the tree. I took the axe out. And then Oh She is that black She's the black smoke? You You killed them. And I just watched. You freed me, Griffin! My gratitude is deep, so I beckoned you here, and I'll fulfill my debt. Here we are at the Pool of Reckoning, where the power will come to claim their stories as their own. The corpse we cast together in the, into the water, that will seal our bond. We'll be masters of all we see! Oh dear. Diana? Griffin? My champion, my love, help me avenge my parents! Alright, let's do this! <laughs> Was not expecting anything like this, but... Get courage, all heroes get plus two damage and potency for next three turns. Foes, the Lostling. Inky smokes the seeds and whirls around it. Okay, she's over there. Diana is going to take the first move. Wild Grasp won't- uh, it- Isn't it or is she? I'm- They won't be able to move. Oh! I guess I did it! Ta-da! <laughs> Help me avenge my lost parents. Okay, done. <laughs> The final blow lands, and the woman leaks rank smoke from her pores, eyes, and nose. The corpse collapses beside the water. Tendrils flow from wounds. They coil. They touch the pool. And the blushing pool ripples. Eddies leap up like thirsty tongues. The water steams, bubbles, and begins to swallow the smoke into its strange depths. Soon, the water is pure again, pinkly sparkling. Drifts of steam nudge their faces, warm, smelling of mineral. Dead? If alive is what that was, then yeah, let's call it dead. But hey, worked out. You don't know how good it is to see you smile. Aww. Griffin glances into the water, and it seems a vision does come to him. My true parents. You can see them? You remember them? I don't really remember, just flashes, images now. Sounds, smells. We lived in the lucky place. By the sea, the mountains, the forests. Aww. I look like them. He does, kinda. Sound a little like them. I remember his face, mid-sentence. I'm gonna take a guess based on what I can tell from the way they look. She was a warrior, and he was a mystic. I think that's what was going on there. At least she looks like she's wearing armor. The same sort of armor that you get when you just start up, and he looks like he's wearing the mystic outfit when you just start. Aww. <laughs> Griffin? So we're clear. That thing we fought, it was something from before? 
trapped inside the tree, I suppose. I didn't mean to set it free. I believe it was a lostling. Breathing, roiling, from a storybook only. It ended my parents' lives. And mine too, forced me to start new. Shutting the memories, the guilt. It's dead now. We finished it. And Griffin, love? You're not to blame. Your parents would be so proud of you. They make their way from the canyon to the mountains, to the hills and woods, and finally... Home again. Aww. Diana? Sleep well. Oh, that was so sweet! That- that was- I like Diana and Griffin's relationship, it's super sweet. Okay, but Griffin Black is now a bronze horn warrior. Ooh, long reach could be useful. You could get a bonus to all campaign level tasks based on age or engage. As a swift action, Griffin engages another creature, forcing it to attack him. That's been pretty dangerous so far when people keep attacking him. I'm gonna go with a long reach. And now, let's have everybody come here. Come on, everyone. We're gonna explore the moss forest. The, bro the broadleaf forest, I suppose it technically is, but... If you guys are ambushed, I swear. There we go, everybody's here. Oh, great calamities. I'm... Mm. You know what? I'm gonna ignore it for now. We'll get- we'll get there soon. Turtles all the way down! Hey, I remember this! The day is calm. The scouting mission has discovered nothing dangerous. Having outdistanced his companions, Griffin sits to rest. Does he sleep? Dream? Is it a vision? A metaphor? Or does a tortoise truly come and speak to him? He has seen somewhere before the patterns that swirl upon its shell. I already am familiar with the whole turtles thing. Of course you have. This pattern is everywhere. In the wind, in the stars, in the sea, in the storm. I believe I've already read all of this before to someone else in the past. But for you, Griffin, it's completely new. We have always been here. We? We hold up the earth and the sky and the storm. We protect the fern and the water and the wheat. You should understand that. You protect others also. You're one of us. Can't you feel it? One with earth and wind and water? A guardian. Of course I am. Or... Okay, this is just too crazy. Sorry, turtle. I need to wake up now. Uh, this case, I'm gonna roll... Because Griffin has been through a ton. But at the same time, he's been through a ton, and I think he's, like, at this point, he might be like, I need a break from all of this. Oh boy. So I'm just gonna roll. If I get a one or two, I'm gonna get say yes. If I roll three or four, then he needs to wake up. I rolled a two, so one with earth and wind and water. A guardian. Of course I am. Are you sure I'm the one you want? Your choices throughout your lifetime have fitted you for this task. You were not born a guardian, but you have molded yourself into one, moment by moment, day by day. You are worthy to join the fellowship I speak for. Do you accept? Yes, absolutely. What happens now? While you live? Nothing. Continue as you have been. After your death, we will discuss this matter further. Do I... Become a tortoise? The precise form is open for negotiation. That almost makes it sound as though you guardians are... all around. Throughout the world. Everywhere. It does, doesn't it? Be well, Griffin. We will speak again one day. Hey, Griffin! You been napping on the job? Huh? No, I... Did you see a... Uh... That's a pretty cool torch shell pendant. Did you just find it here? No, it's kind of a long story. I'll tell you later. Tonight. When we're alone. And he gets more health. And the torch shell talisman which gives him more block. Yes. Go ahead. Take that. And Lost Forest has 
There's drop infesting, but it's not that big of a deal for now. No danger or anything. Let's come and... Any defenses we can prepare here? Train and equip local archers. Let's get over here, guys. Shouldn't take you that long. Okay, well... We've gotta clear this tile. We didn't get here in time for defenses. Reclaim this place. The rest of Mountain Miller Willows was unsettled when screaming Draven sacked Molina's lair. How the Song of Scar Lizard set things right. Winter winds, see us through. So we can charge in, which apparently has an 84% chance of working. We can move in stealthily, then pounce, draw them into a trap, or approach with care, weapons ready. Let's charge in, because Jevenmoor wants to. Their charge scatters the foe. Excellent. And we got some courage, courage and fortitude. Okay, time to deal with the terror bird. Oh, Stone Spirit, hello. Where are you off to? It's a, it's a small map. Somebody can deal with you. Oh, Griffin, you... I just realized that Griffin is missing an arm. And no longer has a shield. Uh, what does the crow arm do? Uh, 10 to 12 damage, one shred. And you can blind the enemy on stunt. Let's give it a sh let's give it a try, sure. But in the meantime, Thulbear, you're the slowest, so I'm gonna get you out of the way. Oh boy. Uh, you can interfuse with the rocks and do a discus. Start off with that one. Hey, good job. Okay, you. You can't really do a whole ton. Thanks to the whole skeletal hand thing. You. I'm going to put you... Uh, actually, where can I put Griffin? I'm gonna put Griffin here for now. I'm gonna put you next to Griffin. Between the two of you, you should be able to cover a decent amount of area. Okay, interfuse with this fire. And do a fire leash in that direction. Hey, you killed one. Good job. Ah, that one has interfused something. Okay. Terror Bird is getting hurt. Oh, and there's another dart. Didn't even realize. Okay, Stone Spirit is on its way out. Okay. Uh, Griffin, I'm gonna put you here. How much does the Crow Scratch do? Let's try it. Oh, and those things have been dispirited. What does that mean? Um, I'm putting you over here, Thulbear. Another discus against that one and that one. Jevenmore, you are completely hidden. I think you can just stab it. There you go. In the meantime, Sanvia, can you catch up with the spirit? I don't think there's any more enemies out here. Not that I can see, anyway. I'm gonna try and get Sunvia to get a stone spear if I can. Let's see if I can do anything. Okay, Sunvia, you can get the spirit to give you a stone spear. 
Wow, what are you? Don't bite me, okay? So we can either enchant the Wyvern Tail, we can enchant Wind Howl, or get a Legacy Point. You know what? Legacy Points are pretty useful, I'm finding. Let's go ahead and get a Legacy Point. Run free, Spirit of the Wild! And there goes the Stone Spirit. And everyone gets a bit of experience for that. That wasn't too bad. We're actually getting better. Brawl Guard. Um... Let's see, you would get better speed and better stunts and better dodge. But... Um, I've rejected Brawl Guard multiple occasions already. I'm gonna salvage it. No, let's actually give it to Sombia. She is a hunter now. She, or She's not a hunter, but she does have a bow. And she does look pretty darn epic like that. Look at her. We're gonna claim it. Yeah, why not? And then a shield. Everyone's hands are full. Griffin can't take it. Nobody can take it. So I guess we'll salvage it. Oh, Gorelord. Okay. That's fun. Great. Okay, well... I guess we'll go ahead and patrol this area over here. Patrol won't really do much, just clears it of anything here. Okay. One thing I can do is get... is actually, now that I have a bit of legacy points... There we go. I'm not as worried about the others. It's just the, um... Just the thing. So I'll just continue. Patrol. Moss Force has been cleared of infestation. And let's go ahead and build something here. A Hunter's Blind provides heartwoods and hides. We can get two heartwoods or heartwoods and spell threads. Ooh, and I remember I can hit... The back button doesn't work from here. Okay, well... Um, let's see, what should I do? Heartwoods and hides, two heartwoods, or heartwoods and spell threads. Either way, I'm gonna get heartwoods. Let's go with heartwoods and hides, because hides have been pretty useful in the past. And we've got the lore and blind established. Okay, let me double check and see what I've got. I've got I've got spell threads and I've got I've got spell I've got spell threads. But I could use some more heartwoods and I could use some more hides. Okay. I've got also got four fabrics, four, four. And at the end, I'm gonna get nine hardwoods, eight, six hides, six fabrics, and eight spell throws. We could use a lot more ingots. Yeah, we could really use a lot more ingots. Let's go ahead and scout this place out. Uh, what just happened? Did I accidentally hit something? Is there an opportunity? Was there supposed to be? Scout it. Yeah, let's just continue, guys. I don't know what just happened. Alright, Moloth Forest has been revealed. And how long have I been recording so far? I, I can I can do it like one more battle. Let's assault the Mulama Windworks. I like that name, the Mulama Windworks. It's kinda of fun. Heart of Stone. In the deep caverns beneath Mulama Windworks. Diana, keep up! Sorry, I don't like it here. It feels like... It feels as if the cold of these rocks permeates my very soul. Besides, the torches are all up in the front. It's hard to see where I'm... Whoa! And she fell. Oh yes, this is the one that's very common. I know exactly what happens here. Ow. What? Where? Wow. What? Is... That? How long has this been down here? An extraordinary so An extraordinary stone surrounded by ordinary rock. It's jammed in there pretty tight. 
Or you, she can either be, I should probably leave it be, or if I can pry it out, I can set it free. I feel like she'd probably try and set it free. Except after the most recent thing where she found out about um, what happened with Griffin. But having, a, having some sort of theme on her would be pretty useful. Hmm. Hmm. Time to roll the dice. Once again, if I roll a one or a two, it, she'll leave it be. If I roll a three or four, she'll pry it out and set it free. And if you've seen the last game, the last campaign, you probably know what it does. I rolled a three! So she's gonna pry it out. If I can just get my knife un in under there... Mm. Something's wrong! What? Mm. Ah! <sighs> what? What was... Oh dear! Diana! There you are! Where did you... <gasps> what happened to your face? I don't... I'm not... There was this gem in the statue! It seems wrong somehow to leave it here. Well, whatever happened, the Draven must have heard that scream. Form up, they'll be all over us now. Alright, well... Now Diana's got that heart of stone. But all the foes get a temporary hit point. Well, meh. Griffin, can you claw scr can you claw scratch it? Hmm. You do get a shredded armor if you do that, though. So I'll let you do that. Um. You come over here and just stab it, or not? Jevonmore, you come over here and just stab it, or. Hmm. Fire chicken. There we go. And then you can do a bitter scratch on it. Apparently you can strike it from all the way over here. We didn't even really need to bother doing anything there. And I'll move you over here. And they'll be like, really? You spent all that on just one enemy? Terror birds! Okay, well. Okay, time to interfuse with that. Okay. I don't know what that did, but did something, I suppose. Terror bird! Okay, you can do quelling moss right there. And Silk Step into being hidden. And Bitter Scratch against... Okay, that was pretty useless, actually. Um, you can go ahead... If I swap weapon... You can do a lot of damage to the Terror Bird. Diana, you can interfuse with the Fungus. And also do a lot of damage to Terror Bird. And they are all dispirited. Okay, Griffin. Okay, what happened to the Stormthroat here? It's very interesting how whatever the heck this is does so much. Okay, Barrage against the Stormthroat, I suppose. And you, I'm gonna put like right here. If the storm throat moves, then you'll be able to attack it. There we go. I really wish Griffin had Battle Dance. That would be perfect. But Griffin does have a lot of block and armor. All right, gonna put you here. And just take it out. You, I'm going to put over here. Interfuse with the rocks. And do a discus against this one. And it'll do some damage there. 
Jevonmore, come on up here. Just quelling Mosset. And then Sonvia. There we go. And everyone has gotten a bit of experience. Not a ton, but it's good enough. Elkhorn Sash. Elkhorn Scarf. It gives plus five melee and plus five ranged. Sonvia could do with a little bit, bit more range, I feel. Especially considering that her, she suffers a lot for, for it when everyone else who does physical attacks has exactly what they need. So let's go ahead and just give it to her. <sighs> that was close. Thanks for blowing our cover. It was not my most articulate moment. So, now what? I don't know. It feels cold, I guess, but it seems like normal. I guess... I guess learn to live with it. I thought I thought Bilber said it for a second. And Griffin's kind of keeping an eye out as well. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be a blessing in disguise. Just try to keep up next time, okay? Mm. Okay, well... That went pretty interestingly. The dart now has extra health, which is not good. But... I'm gonna go ahead and just secure the Mulama when works. And once that's done... We can go ahead and next episode we will locate the Quint locate the Quenwine Ambition next episode. We've got a couple of fabrics in the spell thread and a star slate brooch which uh, gives extra warding. Everyone has a brooch except for Tholbear and Jevonwar. So I'll go to Tholbear, because why not? But anyway, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. So if you guys enjoyed watching this episode of Wildermyth, please go ahead and hit the like button and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe and I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay safe out there, friends.